So in the tablets, they don't actually make a human being from like dirt and dust, like it says in the Bible. Like they didn't right. create no dirt and just make a human being like magic. What they did was there was an existing hominid already on this planet. So the Ijiji right. was getting ready to go to war. There was going to be a coup against the kings of Earth. So they came from Mars to Earth. They, the gods, the they fell from heaven. That really, they were the angels. It was the, they were a lower class than the level of Enkian and Lil. They didn't call them gods. They were like angels. They fell from heaven to Earth. They came from Mars down to Earth to go to war. And the Atrahasis, they encircled the camp in Africa of Enlil and Enki and Anu, who was their father. And they get ready to go to battle because their working conditions are harsh. They've been working for 250,000 years on their own. They call the years in shars, so they, it was a lower number, but each one shars 3,600 years. So what you add it up as 250,000 years. No women was one of the biggest complaints. Uh, and, and, and the biggest complaint was no women. <laughs> and they felt like they were becoming slaves, even though they were volunteers for this breakaway civilization. And so... Uh, the war almost happened, but then Enki, who's Enlil's brother, says, I have an idea. There's an existing being here. They're talking about our cousin, not Homo sapien. Something else was here already. Our cousins. We can add our essence to it, to it and get it to do our labor, to do your labor. And it, an agreement was made. This is in the Enuma Elish and a totally separate tablet called the Atrahasis Epic. Two separate tablets saying the same exact thing which is interesting because it correlates the story, it corroborates the story. And so this was done. And so what they did was they first started with taking genetic material and then making these clones. But the problem with the clones was they couldn't reproduce on their own. You know, if you take a horse and a donkey and you get a mule and a mule can't mate with anything. See what I'm saying? So they had added their essence to us. We were then a mule. We weren't able to mate. They had to keep trying to recreate more and more of us the hard way. Eventually, and they were doing this in a place called, um, it was in South Africa, called Adam's Calendar in Africa, which they discovered recently where the first 200,000-year-old gold mines were. They were putting us to work right away mining gold. But anyway, so uh, from there, they said, okay, these clones are here, but it's not working out properly. And that's when Nhersag, a.k.a. Isis, they said, I'm going to take one to term. She took an egg out of a hominid, cleaned out some of the genetic material, added their essence to it in other words genetically modified the egg in some way this is what we call in modern scientific terms making a zygote and then in vitro fertilization in her own womb 10 months later gave birth to adamu which means first man and the famous uh, cylinder scroll is in the british museum of her holding up the baby saying my hands have created it the adamu and that was adam and uh, and then after that there was this tablet that came out called the myth of adapa which is also adamu in a different way but it talks about the fact that we are created in a way where Enki, for whatever reason, it pissed his brother off. He added something a little extra to us that he wasn't supposed to do. He gave us the capability of having, uh, in the future, of superseding the Anunnaki themselves. And it made the Anunnaki relatives of his jealous of us and angry with us because he had created something that even long term could be better than them extra strands of DNA and all this other stuff that he incorporated into our genome that would allow us eventually one day to rise even above and nobody knew why he did it but he it got he got him into a battle against his own brother this is all in ancient tablets